This video is powered by As Always Entertainment. If you enjoy this content, consider becoming a patron over on patreon.com forward slash as always for access to the Patreon exclusive podcast, The Kill Connor Clubhouse, early access to the Cinema Room podcast, being a part of polls for future videos, and other early access material. With that said, please enjoy the video. Hey guys, it is Tyler here back once again with another episode of Assassin's Creed The Truth. Today we are back talking about Assassin's Creed Odyssey, specifically about the lineage of the protagonists Cassandra and Alexios as human Isu hybrids, what it means in the context of Odyssey and the greater franchise as a whole, looking at their parentage, and I'll also be doing a dive into the history of these hybrids and how they've been represented in past Assassin's Creed games, how they have been viewed through the universe both positively and negatively. Before I get too far into this video, I'd like to thank our Patreon producers for this episode of AC The Truth. That is King Richard III and Josh Devlier. Thanks guys. Human Isu hybrids have been a part of the Assassin's Creed lore for a long time. They have been a major part of historical events, both good and bad, and all majorly surrounded by the technology of the Isu, like Pieces of Eden. Assassins like Ezio Aditore da Firenze, Altair ibn La Ahad, and the Kenway family are those who were hybrids and had higher concentrations of first civilization DNA than most. So it felt inevitable that at some point we would go back in the AC universe and see what it was like for the hybrids that lived in a time so close to when the Isu walked the earth. Would they be different, have different abilities and do incredible things? Well, we see in Assassin's Creed Odyssey that they do. So first off, when talking about the lineage of the Mystios in Assassin's Creed Odyssey, the best place to start is by explaining what a hybrid is. Essentially, the Mystios is a part of an interbred bloodline between the Isu and humans. As a result of this interbreeding, these hybrids did not possess the neurotransmitters in their brain that the Isu implanted into humans that allowed them to use pieces of Eden to control them. This is why those who are hybrids have a higher concentration of first civilization DNA, which in turn gives them certain abilities that most do not possess, like eagle vision or the ability to wield Isu artifacts in the first place. It is the existence of these hybrids that led to the Isu human war over 75,000 years ago, when hybrids like Adam and Eve built a resistance to fight against the Isu who had enslaved humanity. Over the years, these hybrids assimilated into the greater human population, and subsequently the concentration of Isu DNA that hybrids possess has lowered and lowered throughout history. To give a modern day example of this, in the earlier Assassin's Creed titles, Desmond Miles possessed a higher concentration of First Civilization DNA, which allowed him to harness certain abilities like Eagle Vision that was unlocked through the bleeding effect of the Animus. Modern day hybrids possess percentages of Isu genome in their DNA, ranging from the average persons of 0.002% to somewhere below what a sage would have, which sits around 5-6%. A sage is a random genetic occurrence of the reincarnation of the Isu Aida. Therefore, the percentage of the Isu genome is significantly higher in a sage than even hybrids have through history. However, when we go back to ancient times, the hybrids like the Mystios of Assassin's Creed Odyssey, their genome is of much higher concentration of Isu DNA than those who live in modern times. This is because they lived much closer to a time of when the Isu existed and bred with the humans. It is unclear what exactly the percentage of the Isu genome the Mystios had, but it is certainly possible that they had even greater percentage of Isu DNA than a Sage does, based on their incredible abilities that had many of the people in their time refer to them as a demigod. We see throughout the Mystios' journeys that the hybrid DNA has given them fantastical abilities, from when they were a child and survived the great fall from the cliff on Mount Tegatos, to wielding ancient Isu weapons, to other fantastical abilities they used in combat. The thing is, the Mystios is not only part of a bloodline of human Isu hybrids, they're also related to other extraordinary hybrids through history. To go back to the beginning of Assassin's Creed Odyssey, in the opening sequence, we see the legendary warrior King Leonidas of Sparta, who is the grandfather of the Mystios and father to Marini. King Leonidas also possessed a powerful Isu weapon known now only as the Spear of Leonidas, that was broken in his final battle against the Persian invasion in the famous Battle of the 300. That broken spear was handed down to Marini and then to the Mystios. 
The weapon held much power and the Mystios used it through their journey in which they upgraded it several times in an Isu site known as the Ancient Forge. I also did a whole video talking about the Ancient Forge. If you wanted to check that video out after this video, I'll leave a link to that in the description. The spear was able to be wielded with special powers and unlock certain Isu areas with the Mystios' hybrid bloodline. The other parent of the Mystios was famed mathematician known as Pythagoras, who in his time wielded the Staff of Hermes and discovered the entrance to the lost city of Atlantis in the hopes of seeking knowledge and information about those who came before. The Staff was given to Pythagoras by the Isu Hermes himself in a desert and held the ability to keep the wielder alive beyond what any person could live. Both the Mystios' parents Marini and Pythagoras bred for the specific purpose of continuing a strong hybrid bloodline one that has a deep legacy and holds great potential. It is something during the time of the Mystioses in ancient Greece that many revered, respected, and feared. The Mystios and those with strong hybrid bloodline were believed to be direct descendants from gods during their time. There were some groups such as the Cult of Cosmos who had a branch that worshipped the bloodline of the Mystios as a demigod. However, as we see in the Legacy of the First Blade DLC in Assassin's Creed Odyssey, there are some such groups and individuals who see them as lesser humans, as we see Pactius, aka the Huntsman, a leader of the branch of the Order of the Ancients, refer to the Mystios as a tainted one, meaning their blood is impure and tainted with that of the Isu or non-human genome that gives those extraordinary skills or abilities. As I referred to earlier, these hybrids, or tainted ones, assimilated into the greater human population, so almost all knowledge of the existence of hybrids is lost in the world today, bar a few groups and individuals who know of their existence, like the Templars and Assassins of modern times. That is why even hybrids that have existed in the modern day, or in more recent history, do not share the same incredible abilities as we see from the Mystios in Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Well guys, that is it for this episode of Assassin's Creed The Truth. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel if you are new to get more episodes of Assassin's Creed The Truth as they come out. It's great to be back making videos again in the new year and you should expect new videos weekly alongside the many podcast shows I do weekly as well. In the next Truth video, we're going to be looking at mythical creatures in Odyssey and the greater Assassin's Creed universe, so look forward to that. And thanks again to our Patreon producers for helping power this video. So King Richard III and Josh Devalier, thank you guys again for the support. And thank you all once again for watching, and I'll see you all next time.